The Google Apps setup that we have now at the Cal School, the main three things are Google Mail, Gmail, Documents, and Sites, which is the portfolio area. And these three things work really well together. For example, this portfolio is a showcase. It also can be a piece that could be used for uh, assessment of a student. And it's really easy if a student has been working on their work and saving them within Google Documents, so they have spreadsheets or Word documents or presentations, and they've done them within Google Documents, it is very, very simple to actually have those documents embed into their portfolio for assessment and for showcase purposes. I'm editing this page, and I'm going to insert a document. And when I click Insert Document, every document that the student has created will be linked on here. So whether it's a document or a presentation or a spreadsheet, it will be there. And it's as simple as two clicks now. I click the name of the document I want to put in there, and I click Select. Now it will come up with Insert Google Document. I would just keep all the defaults, which is a border around it because it makes it easier to see, and the title because you'd like to know what the document actually is, and leaving the height and width uh, like they are, it will look quite good. So this is the editing page now that I've inserted and you can't actually see anything and that's because this is just showing that there's a link to it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to center this and then I'm going to save my page and you'll see what it will look like as a website. Here's Jillian's website and scrolling down we see that training copy of Google Sites Basics is embedded right into the website and as a parent or a sta student or a teacher, I can look at it and I can read their work. I can scroll through their Word document. If it's a presentation, I could click through the presentation. If it's a spreadsheet, I could go through the spreadsheet. The great thing about embedding these documents or spreadsheets or presentations from Google Docs is that they update whenever the student updates that work. So if the student goes back and works on in Google Documents, works on this exact document that they've embedded, the next time you open up their page, you're going to see the most recent copy of it. So it's really powerful in, in allowing them to put in their work and make sure that it's up to date and not something that uh, they started working on three weeks ago and then they forgot to put on in the most recent copy. This link is alive and every time they make a change to the original, it will be changed on here. So that's how a student can insert a document or a presentation or a spreadsheet right directly into their portfolio both for showcase and assessment purposes.